Hello everybody, this is Strange Gamer back for another di tournament video. And in this clash we have the end of the Metro squaring off against Soro Faganax Rex. Let's get on with it. This could be a good match. Anyway, at first for Ender in the red corner we have Uteraptor. Don't think it's going to do much in this match, and you'll see why in a minute. But yeah, only one point separates these two competitors. And with a very and with Pool C being a very tight group, any win at this stage could be crucial for a top four finish. And Duopolis Aphilis, revival type. And this guy has impressed. And I think it's gonna need to impress if Ender wants to win this one, because in the blue corner, for Soro Fagnax Rex, we have the Black T-Rex. Death type. I mean we have yet to see Death Fire activate. Will this be the rat will this be the match where it activates? And backing up Black Rex, we have Soro Fagonax. Oh, you've seen a bit of this guy. But as I mentioned, just a point separates these two, so any points, any result here could be crucial for either of these two. But I'd probably say with the type advantage, I make Sora the slight favourite. But RNG's involved, so anything can happen. But I honestly, this is probably the most open group so far in the tournament. Literally anyone could qualify. And I think this group's gonna come down to the final round of games. Oh, Black T-Rex gets off the first hit. But the Uteraptor strikes back as the Cryo comes in for the light recovery. Not doing too much damage, but as I said, this guy has a tight disadvantage, so... Uteraptor is not going to be very good and useful in this matchup. Especially if Black T-Rex keep getting crits. Boosh! Oh, and a support effect from Sorofag and Axe. We saw how effective that was in one of Sora's previous matches. And surprisingly, the Dino Illusion does not activate. Oh, we have a tie. A strong start from the Black T-Rex. As I kind of expected. And that's a Uteraptor out already. But the Blunder type effect coming into play. Nullifying that Magma Blaster. Oh, but you want Persephilus gets off the hit. I don't think it'll be enough to kill Black T-Rex. And the Death Fire doesn't activate. Whew. Remember, Black T-Rex is not allowed to swap out. So it's in for the long haul. Oh, the Death Fire is activated. Well, this is it. Oh, it's over. Bonus point win for Soro Fagonax Rex. In a dominant display by Black T-Rex, we get to see the Death Fire for the first time. Wow. <laughs> I feel bad for Ender now, because... I mean... It... I wouldn't have been bad if it happened to the Uteraptor, because obviously what the Cephalus comes in, it would get it would get the free hit as per the rules, but oh my god. Ruthless from Sorofag and Axorax. As Ender Demetro is slaughtered, pretty much. Well, I think that was the quickest match of the tournament as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.